Today we're talking on how to run a NiperF test in NetBees. So as you know, NetBees can run iperf uh, in different ways. You can run an ad hoc test from the GUI, from the dashboard, or you can schedule iperf test to run. We support version two and three of iperf. Version three has uh, more new features uh, compared to version two. And NetBees supports iperf based on TCP, UDP, or multicast protocols. You can run different type of tests, for example, one-to-one, -one, which is from one agent to another agent, and from many agents to one server. This server is a NIPER server that is listening to a specific port and with a specific protocol, so you can have multiple agents at the same time run a NIPER test against this server. Please take note that real-time tests when a, an iperf test is running will be paused. We do this so you don't spoil or affect the performance measurement that are run in real time. So again, if you click and start an iperf test between two agents, you'll see both agent will pause the ping, DNS, and HTTP tests, for example, that they're running. Another thing to take note is that generally, most of the iperf failure that we see are associated to firewall blocking traffic between the two agents, between the source and destination, or even routing issues where the source agent cannot reach the destination agent or vice versa. So make sure when you schedule or run an iperf test that there are no firewalls or anything between the two agents that are, is preventing the traffic between the two agents to flow. Also, another recommendation is that on the same agent, don't schedule overlapping iperf tests. So you don't want to run at the same time to iperf. It's not really <clears throat> the best as you may affect your performance. Okay, so let's, sh let's show a demo of the iperf test. As you can see, I'm on the NetBees dashboard. So we support two modes for running iperf test. In the ad hoc testing, you can run real-time tests. So if I click on iperf, uh, I select two agents, for example, Pittsburgh 1 and Pittsburgh 2, and then select the, the protocol used for iperf and other options. For now, I'll keep the default ones, you see, version 2. But of course, you're happy to use a different other settings uh, in, uh, for iperf. So I click run, and as you see, the two agents are now um, stopping pausing the real-time test, and then you see in this page uh, the result of the iperf test being printed. So this is like a way to run iperf test uh, when you want to like launch in a specific time to troubleshoot maybe a performance issue. Um, I'll show you here the iperf test running, but. If you, do, if you want, you can also run an iperf test uh, uh, on a specific schedule. So the way to do that is uh, clicking on the test tab here. And as you can see on the first sub tab is iperf. So I'm already in the right page. And now I click add schedule iperf test. Here you uh, name the test, uh, test live demo. Then you select if it's a one-to-one, -one, so agent to agent, and you can select any agent that is managed with your NetBees dashboard. Whether it's wired, wireless, or software, they all support iperf, or it could be many to one. So many means you can select multiple agents as source, and then you give the IP address of your iperf server. For example, 1111. There you go. In this case, let's check the one-to-one. -one. For example, like in the example before, I can do from Pittsburgh 1 to Pittsburgh 2. And then here I can select the option for iperf, whether it's a TCP or UDP, for instance. With TCP, I'll have maximum throughput, while with UDP, I'll have throughput as well as packet loss and jitter. So in this case, I select UDP. And then I select the schedule, could be every weekday, Monday through Friday at noon, or it could be every hour. 
at the you know o'clock at the hour itself you click save and as you see now here the iperf test is scheduled to run at the hour uh, every hour just to show you some other iperf tests that have already like a schedule this is an example of a udp schedule iperf test where i have battery bandwidth and jitter and packet loss and this one is a tcp based iperf test where i get the maximum throughput between the two iperf tests if you want the report of course of your iperf test you can always select under the report the iperf option under scheduled test and you have here your all your tests printed and nicely graphed with this i'm concluding today's live demo on how to run an iperf test thank you